Hi everybody, today I will show you how to host a website for free with 000 web host. Okay, so let's just begin. So first of all, we need to search for the 000 web host on the Google. So as you can see here, we have this website. So I will simply go in this website and we have this uh, landing page of the web host. Okay, so if you have already created an account in the web host, you can simply sign from here. But if you haven't created the account and you want to get the free web hosting, you simply click on the get started. And as you can see that we have the four different packages here. So the first one is actually the free web hosting that we will be using and it only allows a single website for the hosting. And after that we have the single shared hosting and the premium shared hosting and the business shared hosting. Okay, so as we know, we want to get the free web hosting. So I'll simply click here on the sign up. And from here you can write down your email and write down the password to create the account or you can simply use your Facebook or the Gmail account. So I will simply click on the Google here and from here I will log in into my Gmail account. So as you can see here, I have logged in with my Gmail account here. So let's just create a new website here and click on this create a new website. So here you can write down the name of your website that is optional, but you have to write down the password for your website. Okay, so let's click on the create. So the website has been created and this is actually the domain name of our website. So now let's click on the manage here and we will be inside the dashboard of our website. So we have successfully hosted the website here, but as you know that we don't have anything in our website and we haven't uploaded anything to it. So let's click on our website from here. And this is actually the dummy website that you get whenever you create the website on the 00 web host. Okay, so let's just add our own website and remove this dummy website of the web host. So go back to the dashboard. And from here, we have the two options. Either we can install the WordPress on our website if you want to go with the WordPress website, or if you have already created the website and you have the source code of your website, you can simply upload it from the file manager. So right now I will simply upload the source code of my website and after that we will also learn to install the WordPress on our website. Okay, so let's click on the file manager here and in here we have to go inside the public HTML. Okay, so from here I can actually upload the source code of the website. So right now I'll just simply use the source code of my sample website here. Okay, so let's just drag and drop these files in our file manager. Click on upload. And this is how you can upload the source code of your website. So now if I just click on the index.html to check whether our website is running or not. So let's click here and you will be able to see this survey form, which is actually the sample website that I have uploaded here. Okay. So now let's just go back into the dashboard. So this is how you can upload the source code of your website. But if you want to install the WordPress on your website, how can we do that? So first of all, before installing the WordPress, I need to delete these files. Okay, so let's just check these files from here and I have to delete these files. That is good. That is okay. So let's close this and go back to our dashboard. And from here, I'll simply click on the WordPress. Okay, so the admin username is the admin and we have our password here and we have the URL of our website here. So let's click on install and this would actually install the WordPress on our hosting. Okay, so the WordPress is installed on our hosting. So let's close this. And if I just go to our website, you will be able to see that we have this block. It simply means that the WordPress is installed on our hosting. So now if I just want to go to the WordPress dashboard of our website, so I just simply write down the forward slash after the URL of our website, I will write down the VP and the sign of minus, and I'm gonna write down admin. And this will take you to the login page of the WordPress dashboard of your website. And from here, we can actually log in into our WordPress dashboard with the username that we have filled earlier. So that was admin. Okay, so let's just click on the login. And you will be inside the dashboard of your WordPress website. So from here, you can add the new post, you can add the new page from here. And if you want to change the appearance, you can simply do it from here. And if you want to add the functionalities to our WordPress website, you can simply do it from the plugin. So now we will simply go back to our web host dashboard and we will explore the other options of our dashboard here. Okay, so in the dashboard, we have the tools and in the tools, we have the set web address. 
okay so from here you can actually get a new domain or if you already have the domain you can simply connect it from here and after that we have the file manager okay so this is how the file manager looks and after that we have the database manager so in the database manager i can create the new database and you can also see the database that is already created all right and you can change the password of your database you can delete it from here and you can also go to the php my admin from here as well and you also have the email manager here so in the email manager you can create a forwarder or the email here and we have the wordpress here so as you can see that you can install the wordpress from here but we have already done this so let's close this and we have the website setting so in the website setting we have the journal settings so in the journal settings we have the ftp details so the ftp simply stand for file transfer protocol so you have these details of the ftp and we have the password we have the php version of our website and we have the website category so you can simply change the category of your website from here and you have the send mail you have the error notification and you have the explicit content that is disabled and we have the branding so if you want to fix your website you can simply do it from here if there is a trouble in your website and if you want to reset your website you can simply do it from here and if you want to delete your website you can do it from here so after that we have the security settings so in the security settings we actually have the ip address restrictions and you can create the password protection and you can create the host link protection okay so we also have the clone jobs so the clone job actually allows you to automate the certain commands or the script on your website so you can add the cron job from here and we also have the redirects you can simply create a new redirect from here and we have the logs and we have the backups in the website setting so you can also see the community help okay so in the community help we have the discord we have the blog and the community forum and let's just click on the earn money here and from here you can actually earn money by hosting a referral program all right so we have the customer support and in the last we have the power store so in the power store we actually have the hosting we have the node vpn we have the website builder and we have the shopify and we have the honey gain and go back to our dashboard from here and if you want to create a new website you will simply click here but right now in the free version as you know that we can only add a single website here so if you want to add a new website you would have to delete this website okay so let's just go back to our dashboard from here and on the dashboard you can actually find everything that we have discussed earlier or you can find the website uh, you can find the files you can find the domains you can find the emails and you can find the databases advanced others okay so some of the features are actually the part of the premium version so you cannot access it with the free version here so this is how you can actually use the triple zero web host powered by the hostinger to build your website with the free hosting obviously you would have some limitations with the free hosting but if you want to upgrade you can do it anytime just by clicking on the upgrade button and you will get the different plans from where you can actually select the plan of your choice either it could be the single hosting premium or the business hosting okay so this is it for this video and if you really find this video useful hit the like button and subscribe to the channel